this question is a great example of how we can move super quickly through data sufficiency and save time while eliminating a lot of the math that would lead us to incorrect answers through math mistakes and errors just writing on our paper. So looking at these two statements, statement one tells me that the perimeter of this larger shape is 44, but it tells me nothing about the width of this border. And so there's no way I can determine what the area of this interior rectangle is going to be. So statement one is definitely insufficient on its own. Statement two tells me that the border is one foot wide, but it doesn't tell me anything about the perimeter or area of the outside shape. So I have no idea how big the total shape is. That again is insufficient. Now taken together, these do complement each other, but do they give me enough information to determine the area of this interior region? Well, I'm gonna use a technique of minimize maximize to mess with the shape and see if I get one consistent answer or if I get multiple consistent, inconsistent answers. So with a perimeter of 44, I could make this rectangle a square because rectangles and square, squares are technically rectangles, so I'm not breaking any rules. And this would be 11 by 11 by 11 by 11. Just divide the perimeter by four and that will give you the dimensions of a square. So if that's true, and I know that the border is one in all directions, and I know that from here to here is one, from here to here is one, and from here to here is 11, that means the distance from here to here must be nine, since we've taken one off in this direction and one off in this direction from the width of 11. And that means the height would also be nine because it's the same idea, which would make the area of the interior 81 in this situation. But perimeter is really flexible. We don't know if it's a square, so we can make it really extreme in a different way. And I am going to use a height of three here so that I can still fit my borders of one and one in the top and the bottom. And that would make, if there's one taken away here and one taken away here, there's a height of one for the interior. And if this is three and three, that takes six off the perimeter, which would leave us with a remaining length of 38 to be divided between the top and the bottom lengths of the perimeter, which means this is 19 and this is 19. So I have 19, 19, 3, 3. And if I'm taking one off from the width because of the border of one on each side, I'm taking a total of two off from the width. That leaves us with 17 for the width of the interior. And the area of the interior is a height of one times a width of 17, which gives us a total area of 17. Now, these two numbers are not consistent, which means this is insufficient. Answer choice E. So just thinking in extremes, not even really solving it algebraically or anything like that um, is a quick way to do it and it's a safe way to do it and it'll help you move more efficiently through your test.